Hey guys, I want to take just a couple minutes to show you how to access some of the uh, real popular Asian markets, Asian futures exchanges within uh, the Market Delta desktop platform and then Market Delta Cloud. So the first thing uh, that you could see I've got, uh, this is Market Delta desktop. I've got a couple domes up. Um, and so up top here is the Mini Nikkei 225 which this the best way to think of it is this is kind of the Asian comparison to the S&P E-mini. Uh, it really is similar in terms of margining. It's very cheap to trade. Um, the costs are low and uh, it has ex very good liquidity as you can see. Now we're looking at the evening session. Uh, this would be the Japanese evening session. It's morning in the US here but you could see it's very liquid trades about 750,000 contracts a day on average so it's a very thick liquid market um, each tick from here to here is about four dollars and thirty cents four dollars and forty cents in today's uh, exchange rates so um, that just gives you an idea but the it's extremely liquid it really trades and uh, it's a great product. The symbol's MJNK. Um, and you can see I've got a candlestick chart over here on the left with five minute. I've got a 30. Here's a daily chart. You can see it's been extremely strong the last two months or month and a half despite all the uh, saber rattling from North Korea. Um, but I just just showing you that and then over here on the right I have a footprint of that market so you can look at footprint charts you can look at really any chart type with these markets I've got the easy zones which is the real-time support and resistance that draws from the footprint um, and uh, so that gives me some levels to trade off of so it's that's these are real nice uh, markets real nice way to look at it down below is the mini topics best way to think of this is this is like um, kind of the uh, it's about 1500 of the uh, main Japanese uh, companies where the the Nikkei 225 is about 225 of the main companies so this one's a little broader it uh, you can see it's fairly liquid um, it's about as liquid as a Nasdaq in the US it doesn't trade as much though it only trades about 15,000 a day but uh, it certainly provides a little bit broader access um, to this, the Japanese stock market. And I have a similar chart here, a candle, as well as a uh, imbalanced footprint here drawing some uh, real-time levels, support and resistance levels from the footprint chart. So this is uh, actually the margin, I believe, is lower on this uh, than what it is the Nikkei. Um, you can see it trades in quarters where this is actually five whole points is uh, representative of a tick. But these are great markets to trade, especially if you're looking for um, some different markets that would be off hours. So for instance, these markets trade from 7 p.m. Central or Chicago time to about 1 a.m. Chicago time. And then they reopen for their, quote, the Asia night session. Um, around 2.30 2, 2 a.m. Chicago time till about noon or, or 1 o'clock uh, Chicago time. So they provide some off hours, very liquid markets for off hours, and um, they're cheap to trade, and they move, and they're liquid. So great options here. Um, then the other thing I want to show is I want to show you the same thing on cloud. So this is Market Delta Cloud. This is our web-based platform. And um, on this one, you can see I've got uh, a page set up for the mini uh, Nikkei 225. I've just got a candlestick chart. I've got a study down here, and I've got a dome. You can see how thick this is. Notice they display the full, full depth. Uh, so it's uh, extremely thick. Um, and you can get a feel for that as you scroll up and down. You can see it trading here. Um, and then I have another one, another page set up for the JMT, which is at Mini Topics. So here I have the JMT up top, and then I have the Mini Nikkei down below. You can see, and I've done this one to show you, they obviously correlate a lot. Um, you can almost think of uh, the Nikkei, um, it's a smaller subset. It's 225 stocks versus about 1,500 for the, uh, I'm sorry, 
225 down here for the Mini Nikkei, and the JMT is about 1500. So it's a broader swath of the Japanese market, but they are going to be highly correlated, and that might be a way you look at uh, trading, trading them, or at least comparing them, is in a, looking at them together. And so uh, this is the order book uh, for the JMT, which is a mini topics. And um, anyway, consider trading these. Uh, not all FCMs offer access to them, but certainly um, many do. Um, so you want to check with them on all the pricing and everything. Um, but uh, they're great markets to trade. It gives you exposure to Asian markets, especially with all the saber rattling. It can provide a, um, a good hedge potentially for that part of the world. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us. There's also other additional uh, Japanese markets uh, that you can trade. Uh, however, these are, the, these are the two I wanted to bring focus to, the Mini Nikkei 225 and then the Mini Topics. All right, that's all for now. Have a great day.